Hello and welcome back to Now We Can See It, part two of storage hacks and caravan tips. So there's a couple of things that I promised that I was going to talk to you about in this episode. The first one being the big bundle of keys that we get. You know, what do we do with that big bundle of keys? I want to just show you, we ordered off eBay um, a key tag. I guess it's a, t a key tag organizer. It was only a few dollars and it holds all of the keys for the caravan. So all the doubles we've put together on a different um, hook and they're just placed in the house when we need them. So come on through and I'll just show you into our bathroom. We didn't put the key tags right at the front door. So, you know, like if you, if you were unfortunate enough to have a break in and you had your key tag, all of your keys hanging right there, well, you know, that could be quite disastrous with everything if you've got safes and, and whatnot. We put our key tags here in the bathroom so they aren't in view when you first walk in the front door. So there's eight key tags there and that is one for every hatch, every lock, water tanks, everything that we need for our caravan. And the second set or the additional keys, we've just placed and left them in the house for whenever we need them. So one of the changes that we made from part one of our little video was we did have all of our plates and things up here. So a couple of reasons for the change is our daughter Grace now is of age where she can help with the washing up, but she cannot reach these cupboards. I struggle to reach the top um, cupboard, so up the top. So what we've done now is we've elected to put more of these Kmart storage containers. So you can go ahead and label all these if you so choose, or you might um, like to choose some clear containers um, I thought twice about having clear ones because I don't like to see mess. I'm quite happy with the cut with the white ones that I can't see through. Personal choice, I guess, there. So in here, we've just made this for chips and wraps, snacks, um, up here that is light as well. So And things that our daughter doesn't need to be getting into all the time. So where we moved our plates and bowls and glasses from, instead of being on top of above the sink where we couldn't really reach them we've now put them in our slide out drawer which is going which is in underneath our lounge so this is really great actually it fits it's a lot more contact compact and it fits a lot more in there so this way our daughter can help us wash up and pop things away she knows exactly where things are when she needs to get a, a glass of water another question that we've had is what do we do with our pots and pans saucepans whatever it is that you need to cook with uh, a couple of things here we as i mentioned in our previous episode we elected to have an oven and i i have no regrets with that that's a great thing because i cook in the van the same as i do at so, home but what i do in our oven for a little bit of storage is i do actually put my weber casserole and a, and a couple of my baking trays and dishes in there there really is no problem with that when traveling. They, ours don't move around so much. Um, if you feel like it, you could perhaps put a tea towel under them or around them if you so if you desired. For the rest of our pots and pans, we have them in the other slide out on the other side. In the caravan, we started traveling with a lot more than what we do have now. Now I tend to have a fry pan, a couple of saucepans, a colander and a small saucepan for or heating up milk so that's really about all that we need any other cooking for baking for baking of cakes and muffins and things that Gracie and I like to do often we pop them in under the bed because even though I say often that still might only be once a week to once every couple of weeks that we utilize those so they go in microwaves now it funnily enough people talk about not wanting to have an oven however We've traveled now, we've had this van just over 12 months and we've traveled about 16, 17,000 kilometers um, weeks at a time. And I could count on one hand the amount of times that I've actually used the microwave. So the microwave really just sits there to look pretty and to once again be storage. So what we do is my kettle that I boil up our um, water on the stove with that sits and travels inside the microwave so you can put something around that to stop that moving ours doesn't seem to move rattle or mark anything so the microwave once again personal choice depends we do a lot of off-grid camping so we don't utilize it very much at all 
Okay, one of the other things that we also um, just glossed over in the last, in part one, was we had a cupboard up here which had an empty space in it. So what I've done now, and I made reference to perhaps storage for our glasses. So that's what I've done. Once again from Kmart, this hat will hold some pens, some glasses, other little sets of perhaps car keys if you want in there, whatever it is that you may want to put in there, that's behind your Wi-Fi it's unit. Just the hooks for our hats as we walk out the door but also under the hooks you can put things like you know your swimming goggles etc etc as well and that is our bar area uh, as we travel we tend to have a lot of wine and cheese you may be different you might be teetotalers you may be similar to us so from Kmart these black um, trays in our particular overhead fits four of them so that's those just there from Kmart. They're about eight or nine dollars each. That fit four, nice and snugly along the caravan. Each one of those fits six bottles of wine. And then I've got my cocktail spirits over here and my mixer. And then we've got our wine glasses in there as well. Okay, one of the other things that we were going to bring to you that I have managed to order online and it has not arrived as yet. So a lot of us have slide out bathroom doors, such as this one. And we've got a beautiful big map of Australia coming that will fit uh, on this bathroom door, but I can't show it to you today. I wanted to wait for it, but I did not want to wait another week to deliver this video to you. Moving into our bathroom. So this is something that I'm very, very proud of. So in our bathroom, you can see first up that beautiful towel rack. Now, no, you cannot buy this in the shop. This is something that I'm very fortunate to have a handy husband that made that for me. Now that's made out of aluminium, so it is extremely light. Very, very light. And then once again, on top there, he has secured one of those Kmart crates of which you can put toilet rolls in or a plant that all stays there as we travel, nothing moves. So that's good. And I've also got two hooks. You can see a hand towel being hung there. If you're showering at night time, you still can hang two wet or damp towels there if you can't hang them outside at night. We tend to hang ours outside under the annex to dry. Uh, but if you had to leave a wet towel hanging in here overnight, you could then pop that out in the morning to dry outside. So six towels there, all colour co co coordinated, you know, grey, pink and blue for the three, three of us in the family. So that's something that I'm really, really proud of that I love. Another little thing that might help you in your shower area, and once again from Bunnings, I love Bunnings, you can see a dispenser on the wall which takes shower gel, shampoo and conditioner. Now we have had that right from day dot. That has been on the wall and has not budged, moved, ever, ever fallen down. Um, and we got that from Bunnings once again. So really really handy thing so you don't have to be stocking up with shampoo and conditioner and also soaps all the time in your shower okay before we leave the bathroom area this is a little bit tricky to see um, i'll just walk you through our cupboard so we have a below the vanity cupboard in there thanks to kmart you will notice the baskets but also on the door Jason, Lisa, Grace, we have our own toothbrushes allocated there and they simply just pop in and out and these are from Bunnings and they're used to secure cables down. So absolutely brilliant for our toothbrushes. Another thing that I'm waiting on is a remote control holder that we will secure here underneath our toothbrushes and that will take our brush and our toothpaste. Okay. In the overhead, once again, Thanks to um, Kmart, we have two of these plastic, uh, um, and these are our fridge dividers once again. So they can be, you get these little dividers in them so you can move them to wherever you want them to go. So that you can, nothing actually moves around, you can make them quite small. So in one we've got, just got general toiletry items, and in the other one we have our toilet paper. Okay, so one other, a couple of other things to cover is linen what do you do with your linen when you travel so once again this is something that we went overboard with when we first traveled um, and we had a lot of stuff underneath the bed whereas now i have all my linen quite handy so in this cupboard here 
Um, in the Cadet, incidentally, when you purchase the Cadet 2 XLI Platinum, for those of you interested in a Kokoda Platinum a Cadet, this normally has a drawer. So with the drawers, um, I just find with drawers, there's a lot less that you can fit in it. We elected to change them into cupboards. So that has given us a lot, a lot more storage. So in this one here, we have our beach towels. And we have our linen. So down here with our linen not going overboard, we only have one change of sheets and pillowcases each, which is quite sufficient for when you're traveling. So in the other side of this cupboard, once again, Kmart, um, these particular containers, one will be for Barbie dolls, Barbie doll accessories, um, all the handbags, the shoes, the clothes, all of the little bits that come along with Barbie dolls. Or it might be that you want to fill it with Lego or cards if you have a, um, a little board that you need to please. So toys basically are in this one here. Down the bottom is books and board games. Um, we have in there dominoes, cards, whatever it is that you might like. Rummy Club. Um, I like to play Canasta, etc. So a lot of those games are in those containers down there. I love that you can't see through those containers to see the mess of everything. Once again, personal choice. If you want to source out some containers that are clear for that type of thing, that's fine. If you want to also label these, and I've thought about doing that and I may do that. Okay, moving along to the fridge. The fridge is another thing, I guess, like your fridges at home. Lots of stuff tends to end up at the back of the fridge. We used to jam pack our kitchen and our fridge before we traveled away with that much food that it, we could live out we could have lived out of the caravan for, for a couple of weeks now we tend to buy food locally in the places that we go to so we only stock the fridge up with what we might need for maybe a week at a time and same with our cupboards because we can then shop locally as we go through um, each little town here in our pantry when we showed you that our overhead pantry we had those ultra clear containers and as you can see here in the fridge we use those once again in the refrigerator so the best part about this is I can see exactly where everything is and these particular containers are brilliant for that our Dometic fridge that we've got which is pretty standard amongst a lot of caravans the size that we have so they fit perfectly and go from front of the tray to the back of the the fridge so nothing slips to the back of your fridge whatsoever so that's our fridge. For, for those of you that had children and have bunk beds in your caravans, this can be a little bit tricky for space for each child as well. Fortunately, I guess um, for us, we've only got the one child that we travel with. So we, with bunks, worrying about her falling in or out of the bed as well, we just had, I don't know, a piece of timber here that we can slide up when she gets in there so she doesn't fall out and push back. Um, so that just slips slots down beside the mattress we have a little barbie doll girl, girl if you can see that so i've just attached some ribbon between some suction hooks once again from bunnings those suction hooks are, are designed to go on to textured surfaces as well as glass and hard surfaces that are completely flat absolutely brilliant they'll take five kilos each so that holds in that short space there um, I guess of about 600 mil, about eight Barbie dolls there. So, that, But also in her bedroom, you'll notice that we've strung up some pretty lights for her. And we've also got storage down the back of her bunk because the bunks here in this Kagoda um, Cadet 2 XLI Platinum are 2.1 metres long. So quite long for a little person. So we've put two 300 by 300 cubes in there and, and filled those with books and toys. So that looks quite good. On this wall, which is a bit difficult for you to see, we've put more hooks there. So she's got a handbag hanging there and some jewellery hanging there as well. So I guess whatever it is that you have in your bunk, if you have a little man in your life, you would probably have to find something to do with trucks and little boys' toys. So... That's Grace's little area, so quite a nice little nook there. Now, Santa came early for us this, this year. I guess it was probably Jason and I being a little bit more impatient and wanting to utilise our toy, our family toy, 
and you may have already picked that, this up also in the video Grace sitting here in front of a gaming console so as she plays that we'll just show you that and I'll tell you a little bit about it so this particular console comes from JK it was $249 and it has 1660 games on it so for someone in my era um, I was brought up playing things like Pac-Man, Space Invaders, Donkey Kong and Frogger. All of those games and about oh, 1600 or more are on this console. The beauty of this console, it will run when we are off grid. 12 volt. How fantastic is that to pass the time away? If it's a rainy day and you're away traveling, you've got kids cooped up in the van or parents just like us that like to play some of those retro games fantastic fun for the whole family. so the last thing i wanted to draw attention to that we didn't have in part one was was a privacy curtain so this was such a quick and easy fix if you just wanted to have a little bit of privacy or to keep the light out at night if you're watching tv and you've got the tv around you can pull your screen across and curtains there so that you can um, close off your area if you want to from time to time keeping in mind the air conditioning unit will not operate through there so you may want to open that a little bit if you need to but just a great privacy screen should you need one um, and also that rack or rod I should say if it's raining and you want to do some hand washing and do some washing you can use this here for a few things to hang up keeping in mind you don't want to weigh it down too much because unless you want to put another um, attachment in the roof here in the middle for the weight to adjust the weight so that's about it all for part two um, the next episode that we will bring to you we are waiting on a couple of things for the external part of our caravan so perhaps when we're on holidays we're heading up to Cairns Coconut for a few days next week we might do a walk around of what we've got so far in the outside of our van. So thank you all for watching. Thank you all so much for your comments. Um, the amount of comments that we've received and some even other helpful tips that we, we could offer you. Just let us know. Thank you all. Safe travels.